Hey, this is Chris Hansen with E1 Solutions, um, one of our senior technical consultants. And today I'm going to be talking about Smart Connect and Node Builder, um, primarily just about how you can use Node Builder to publish a new custom eConnect node and create it in Smart Connect without any additional effort on there. So, what I'm going to do today is first off, just show you an existing map that I have in Smart Connect. And that map is just named Customer on the ID. And I just wanted to show you guys what I've currently got in there as destination parameters. Um, so all of these in here so far are either standard eConnect nodes or a new extender node that I've copied in. And with Node Builder, what I'm going to do is create another node to handle some additional contact information for a custom table I have. And I'm going to publish it in Node Builder. And the next time I hop inside of this map setup window, I'm going to have that node available to map into. So let me hit clear on that and actually flip over to our node builder tool, which I've already started up and I've got connected to our server. So I'm going to enter a new ID in here, just call it customer contacts. Fill out the description and make sure I'm connecting to the correct database and that it shows what my procedure name is going to be. And then I'm going to click the option here to create the smart connect node. And this is what's actually going to allow us to go ahead and immediately publish that into Smart Connect. So not only are we creating the custom procedure with Node Builder, we're also going ahead and telling it where it should appear in Smart Connect. So I could create a new group and a new node type, or I can use these existing ones um, and grab receivables and customers. And then I can go ahead and tell it what I want my display name for that node to be. So I'm just going to call this, again, Customer Contacts on there. Tab off. Make sure I'm going to publish it into my test company. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the table that I need as well. So my table is just called customer contact details on here. I'm going to add it in and make sure that I mark my fields that I want to map to on this side. And at this point, I could go ahead and add additional logic into the node. So I could check to make sure the customer ID existed, um, do other lookups, etc. But for keeping the video short and just showing how the publish option works, I'm going to leave it just as it is right now. So this is going to go ahead and publish the node. It should create both the SQL node and also our reference inside of Smart Connect. So the next time I go into the, well, next time I go into my existing map, customer, and hit my drop down, I now have that new node down here that I call customer contacts inside of Node Builder for the display name. And if I open this one up, you can see all the fields that I marked on there. So I had the one key field, the other four I also marked as input, and that allows me to map into any one of them. Um, so that's the basic process of using Node Builder to create custom nodes in Smart Connect. So you can go ahead and do this with any of your extra tables you have, either custom ones or third party tables. Um, add them in Node Builder and then publish them through that product and immediately map to them in Smart Connect once you've got them created. Thanks for watching.